Hello, and welcome back to Chaos on Deponia. Last time we went and found Doc and Goal, and Doc has sent us back out to go and get some replacement cartridges to back up Goal's data. But before that, let's stop off in this tavern. Ooh, I want that razorfish. Hey, hold still! Oh god, it's one of those things. Oh, it seems to have some sort of motion sensor. Still want it, though. May I bother you? Not really. Then I'll have to do it without your consent. Didn't we meet in front of Doc's workshop? Uh, you must be mistaken. No, no. You and your beefy chum, you were going to take something from me. What was it you were yelling? Death to the Organon? Death to the Organon! Uh, I mean, um, <laughs> death to the Organon! <laughs> Whoever would say such a thing? Not that it isn't a good slogan. I mean, someone must have put a lot of thought into that. Why are you sitting here on your lonesome? I'm waiting for a worthy opponent to play rock, paper, scissors. But why do you think you might find one here? Because people around here tend to give you the finger. <laughs> and that makes sense. So you're a professional rock, paper, scissors player? Yeah, I'm an expert, a professional gamer, a prestidigitator. Scissors is my forte. I've been training it for years and I can do it in my sleep. But my rock really rocks too. <laughs> Once in a while I'm still a bit hesitant to make full use of my paper. But my coach says that I can compensate for this weakness through speed and stamina. Unless their rock, paper, scissors is a lot different from ours. I'm not sure what he's talking about. I want to play. Huh, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Well, the last time I looked, they were at the lower end of my arm. Let me have a look. Yep, yep, here they are. Ha ha ha, nice try, buddy. Why? What's, what's wrong with them? Those aren't official tournament fingers. They might be loaded. Come back when you have an official tournament hand. I'll be off then. See you around. An official tournament hand to play rock, paper, scissors. Okay then. The mating song of the junk crabs. The junk avalanche tarantella. The jolly johnny song. The dead pigeon tango. That did not appear to do anything. Yes, those buttons do not appear to be working. Is the jukebox broken? Whew. Despite my mighty strength, I'm not going to get anywhere without tools. The flap is screwed down. Oh, good thing we picked up that screwdriver. Right. Um, I'm not really sure what to say about that. Huh, so that's how it works. Hi ho, hi ho. Are you looking for trouble? Oh, come on. Sing along. Hi dee dee do. Man, are you lucky I don't hit the handicap? Hey, hands off. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? Stamp your feet and steal my firstborn child? I wouldn't talk so big if I were you. I'm at the right height to prevent your firstborn child from ever being conceived. Yeah, I have to go. I get a pain in the neck when I look down for too long. Hey, it's Bozo. Let's go talk Hello, to him. Oh, Bozo. Old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not a pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus, was there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? 
Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. Wait a minute. Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. A little breaking into the fourth wall there. Oh, don't tell me I slept through the entire passage. Like a platypus. Only you mumbled in your sleep. I was dreaming of my next big adventure. Would that have anything to do with ballet, sweet cheeks? I went to see Doc, and now I need to find the gadget shop. Uh, say hello to Gilligan for me if he happens to be in. It's by the pier, just to the left of the city gate. How's the grog around here? This is peppermint tea. Yeah, right. Tell me another one. Pirates drink grog. Everybody knows that. But I'm not. Yeah. Listen, I talked to Doc. He says your skewed perception may be an indication of a serious head injury. And the scar next to your eye may be an indication of an exciting sea battle. Har! Oh, seriously. Did you ever fall on your head? I mean... Between the two times since we've met. Anchors away! Hoist the sails! Avast ye landlubbers! Yo ho 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 ho! Oh well, none of my business. Just as long as you don't forget to pay me for the passage. Uh, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! Arr. Yeah, it's not worth the effort, bozo. Just go with the flow. See you later. Don't get lost. That must be Gulliver. He looks all right to me, but he's a lousy replacement for Lonzo. Hi. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to Gulliver's Gully. I'm Gulliver. If you need to use the bathroom, let me know, and I'll give you the key, the flashlight, and the wolf repellent. We assume no liability for damages caused by the peanuts on the counter. So, what can I do for you? Wolf repellent? For the bathroom? Why? Gulliver's Gully doesn't sound terribly inviting. My customers aren't used to being invited anywhere. Who would want to invite thieves and smugglers? Or people with infectious mouth diseases? Now, if you're looking for an inviting ambience, you better go uptown, kid. Uh, I've got a few questions regarding your regulars. Spit them out. Don't you ever run into problems with the Organon? To me, it looks like everyone here is doing whatever they want. That's right. The authorities leave us alone here. Porto Fisco is far away, and the magnetic train route runs along the coast. That's how the floating black market was formed in the first place. We're always in places where the Organon doesn't look. And if I told you that it won't stay that way for long? Then I would tell you to go join Janos and his resistance windbags. Only an idiot would believe in that conspiracy crap. An idiot or somebody who knows that it's all true. Do you know Captain Bozo? Sure. He drops anchor here on a regular basis. I think he's got something going on with the owner of the weapon store in Little Venice. She won't break your heart. She'll perforate it with a repeating laser. And Bozo has a thing going with that fury? I can hardly imagine how that would work out. Go on, tell me about Bozo's girlfriend again. I think he's got something she won't br- And Bozo? I can hardly imagine how that would work out. Well, they do say it opposites attract. That's it for now. Yep, that was definitely enough. It's pretty dark in here. Yeah, that's a good thing. Most of my regulars aren't a pretty sight. But if you think this is dark, just wait until the generator breaks down again. Does that happen often? Unfortunately, yeah. It's the salty air. Almost the same effect as sugar in the tank. Odd, isn't it? A drink, please. Have you got any money? Well, uh... I thought so. <laughs> I mean, just look at you. <sighs> Why does everybody always say that? Come back when you've got money. Transients don't get a tab here. What else is there to see in the floating black market? Don't tell me you're a tourist. In that case, you'd better go uptown, assuming they let you in. Downtown is reserved for smugglers, fences, gamblers, and pirates. 
For a special thrill, I recommend watching the Platypus Pataka in the market arena. However, fighting only takes place when two squabblers are going after each other. Go on, tell me about those platypus fights again. Platypus Pataka is a lethal contest, a fight for life and death. Can't the jukebox play a different song for a change? What do you mean? It plays a different song all the time. Are you sure? It does sound pretty familiar, you know. Leave my jukebox alone. Nothing but classics in the playlist. My favorite is the mating song of the junk crabs, but only when the door's closed. I have enough complaints about crab bites as it is. I, uh, need to use the bathroom. Then you should sign this waiver first. A waiver? I hereby confirm that I am not entitled to seek damages against Gulliver, Gulliver's Gully, or Splash Me Toilet Outfitters in the case of blah 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 blah, hair loss, chemical burns to the nasal mucous membranes, blah 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 blah, blah, blah. spider bites, rat bites, wolf bites, blah blah, blah 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 blah, leprosy, psoriasis, or any kind of curse inflicted by indigenous tribes? Who would sign this <laughs> nonsense? Well, the owner of the drugstore, for one. Is he suicidal? No. Uh, blind. Using this bathroom is also a popular test of courage. I mean, popular with those who are named in the will. Garliff up there currently has a bet going on with his buddy, Liebold. But, uh, I don't think he's gonna do it. He's still got plans. Yeah, well, I have a plan, too. I'm planning not to act like a coward. Hand me that pen. You don't have to do this. You know that, right? I've never done things I had to do. Well, then, good luck. When your urge to go becomes stronger than your sense of self-preservation, you can ask Gala for the key. I'll do that. See you later. Right. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. I think we've asked him everything we can. Grab the sugar dispenser. With that, maybe we can actually uh, shut off the lights. Now, let's see if we can get that key off Carla. Probably not, though. May I bother you again? And you're gonna do that anyway. <laughs> Got a point there. Have you got the key to the tavern bathroom? Yes, but I still need it. I have this bet going. You bet that you would use that bathroom? Uh, yeah, but I simply haven't worked up the courage yet. Scares the crap out of you, does it? That's what I'm waiting for. I'll be off. Yeah, that's what I figured. Around. Let's throw some sugar in the tank. Huh, wish I could remember. Is sugar in the tank good or bad for the engine? Well, there's only one way to find out. Bad. Ah, right. It was bad. Thought so. Ah, oh, God, I saw the sugar. <laughs> it's really dark here, but not so dark that I'll have to use my legendary sonar here. It. After all, I have the brightest eyes in the whole southwest quadrant. <laughs> Breathing all that mercury vapor when I was a kid is finally paying off. That explains a lot. This is dark. Maybe I'll actually be able to get, be able to get this razorfish now. Yes. And, ha. <laughs> Alex the jukebox dwarf fell asleep immediately. Ouch! Oh, ha! Oh! Nothing happened. <coughs> and now, quiet. Ha! 
Got it. Huh, cute. Hmm. Will you say anything different now the lights are out? Ah, you again. Are you finally gonna order something now? No, he's not. See you later. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. So that means I've probably got everything I can in here. Let's go actually talk to the gondolier this time instead of just kicking his thing and watching him run away. Oh, good. Generator's working again. That must be the new airbag. That was fast. Yoo-hoo! What is that sheet music? La musica si fa volare. Is it una canzone molto romantica? La 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 la! Calzoni. Prego. Can't you sing something else for a change? Uh, piacere. Ma sfortunamente, but it's too bad. I have just uno singolo spartito. Only one musical sheet, comprende? <laughs> Some of it. Do you really have to keep rowing through the canals and singing? Oh, cadare, merci. I needed to drive her off the dam. How do you say? Boredom. Drets. Ah, well, now that makes sense. Cool gondola. Oh, si, si. Mr. Gabriel, molto comfortable con tutto extra special. With all the extras? Well, what extras? Herba? <laughs> Sorry about your airbag. Uh, it's no problem. I am a socio di club gondola mobilistico. A member of the gondola club? Certamente. The duck always has a replacement for sacco di aria caputo. Capisce? Ah, uh, capisco. <laughs> caputo. Hey, buddy. Uh, quit yanking my chin. <laughs> What's that box? Is that your new airbag already? Uh, si, si. Uh, fortunamente, il duck always has a replacement in the stock car. Do you always have to speak with that goofy accent? Yeah, you bet. If I don't, I'm in trouble with the Gondola Association. <laughs> I see. Well, that explains that. I don't mean to worry you, but the Organon is planning to blow up Deponia. Oh, uh, no apprezione. Con una bella canzone on your lips. All is gonna be ben in the end. Nothing's gonna be bene. The whole planet is gonna go kablooey. So I will sing a fin la 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 la. Oh, brother. I hope they hurry up with their explosion. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Huh? What's that mean? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Just for that, I'm gonna kick your airbag on the way out. Ancora? Oh, stupido! Stupido gonzo cretino! <laughs> oh, yeah. And let's go this way since it's the way we haven't gone yet. Because this way is to the dock, and that's where we're supposed to be going. Ooh, an antenna. That could come in handy. Why does that always happen to me with antennas? Maybe because you yank them? There's the tournament hand. So that's probably where we get that. Let's see if we can get inside. Closed. Too closed for my taste. Oh, no. I can't while someone's watching. 
Guess not. Great, now the pipe's closed. But it didn't do me any good. I'd better leave it open. And keep it in the back of my mind, just in case. All right, I will do that. Let's check this door. Probably not a great idea since of the skull there, but... Religious nuts. You just don't get it, do you? If you want to meet Jamaica, keep it up and I'll help you on your way. What the? Who are you? I would like a knife. In your gut or in your eye? You can have both. <laughs> what have you got on offer? My specialty today is cuts and stab wounds for obnoxious visitors. Holy crap on a cracker. Do you think that's the smartest way to treat a potential customer? You? A potential customer? Just look at you! You should be glad I haven't shot you yet! With the emphasis on yet! I think I lost my way. Yeah, I think so too. But I've got good news for you. It's not gonna happen anymore in the future. Because then I'll know my way around? Because you won't be able to walk, that's why! D -d Do you know Captain Bozo? Captain? Ha! Does it make you a captain these days if you only just manage to keep a rusty junk trawler afloat? The only captain I know is Captain Seagull up in Bellevue. But I'll take Bozo any day over that puffed up imbecile. So, you know him? I'm uh, currently wearing his underwear, if you really must know. I didn't need to know that, but thank you for telling me, I suppose. I'll be on my way. <laughs> I'll, uh, <coughs> I guess I'll be on my way then. <laughs> Yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. You got it. And that's back to Doc's workshop. Which is convenient because there's a map there so I can fast travel. I need to go to the dock. And who have we here? Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. They're talking about me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understated. We're not interested in fairy tales. You've got something that we want. Huh. Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about the secret Ascension Codes. The Ascension Codes? Over my dead body. Uh, wait, let me rephrase that. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Oh! Oh! Ow! Oof! Ow! Good thing Rivers is invincible. He hasn't got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna. Oh. Oh. Lots of friendly people here. Oh. Maybe I should tone it down a bit. Well, that seems like a good place to stop for the day. So... Next time, we'll go into the junk shop and get the replacement cartridges. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like or fave. If you really enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!